everyone. I am going to teach you how to make leather with some stamps on it. Right now you see that there is three leather pieces. First you got to get some water, a spray water. Make sure it has some water in it or you get a sponge with this because if you get it wet first, if you don't get it wet, guess what? It does not work as good. It like doesn't work so, you have to like put it like, you have to stamp it like really hard. Yeah. You're probably gonna get your dad, you're probably gonna have to get your dad if if you forgot to um, um, do it. But, which you won't have to, cause you could like pause it, then restart it, and then put water on it. But you have water, right? Yep, we. I have a spray thing, which I haven't used before. So this is my first time using it. I usually use like this and this. So let's just do one. So let's start with this one. So I spray it. Oh. <laughs> And I spray it some more. Make sure it's golden brown. Okay, that's good. Make sure if if you were wanting to do the end, please don't. I don't know why my my father just told me that we can't do that. <laughs> I'll spray some more. There. And um, make sure you have, you save some more water for these if you want to do them. If you want to do some more. Are you done with the water? Uh, yeah. Can I have it? So do you work on the weather while it's still really wet? No. All you have to do is just, see, I'm waiting and talking to you. So I just kind of go like that. And then just let it dry maybe put it right here and maybe get your stamps ready okay. that's what we can do like i have so much stamps i could like i could get this one. Oh, this rose come on oh, there i see this is a rose it's a rose and i'm gonna get some two leaves these are leaves as you can see one is big, one is small. And I'm going to use that with the book. Oops. <laughs> Sorry if that made a, made a big noise for you. Um, so this, I put, I'm putting it on the sponge because I have nowhere else to put it. And I like doing that because it's like a soft landing. <laughs> and, oh, I have this because if I, I'll show you with my hammer. Oh, and this is dry now. Okay. So you can get your stamp ready. If I go like this on the ground, it's moving a little bit. If I go like this on here, it doesn't move at all. You can see. And it also doesn't make that big of a noise. So tell me about your hammer. My hammer was made by Santa. So if you were waiting as long as me, then, it's probably gonna be ready. Okay, so you get whichever stamp you want. I'm going to get this little butterfly. Um, and I put it right here. I put it where I want it. And I kind of put it a little hard. I don't go like that. Then I go like that. I keep it as hard as it. As hard as I did, I get my hammer and I go like this. I put it down. I put it up. I put this thing up. And as you can see, there is what I wanted. A little butterfly. Now I'm going to do some more little butterflies. I'm going to do two of each. I think this is a monarch butterfly. <laughs> um, get my hammer. I 
like I just did and copy those steps that I did. Try to hold it still when you're hammering because right here it's kind of go up, up. That makes it kind of look like it was going up and then it went, like it's gonna go up. It looks like realistic. Then I get my big butterfly. As I can see, it's better. That one I can't see a lot. Okay. I hold it down. I put it, uh, I think I'll put it right to the other edge. There. I can't hold, I cannot hold its things really still eat. Let's see, how did it turn out? Whoa, this one is kind of a little better, because it went like da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm going to try to do that again. Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was really loud. Oh, at least I try my best. Three, two, one, start hammering. Trying, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a good. It moved a lot, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So you want some help? Do you want my help holding it? Yeah, please do. Okay. It'll be uh, okay. You hammer it. No, you hammer it. Aw. I can just hold it for you. Okay. All right. So, let's go right there and hammer it hard. Oh, sorry. There it goes. Let's see at the back. Ooh, it didn't go through. <laughs> okay, so, now what I want to do is I, I think I'll do this one. As you can see, it's kind of like those little things in the ground. What do you call them? What do you call acorn? them? Acorn? Uh, not an acorn, it's not the acorn. It like this. It kind of looks like an acorn. Mm, I don't think it's an acorn. The things that fall out of the trees? Oh, a pine cone. I think oh, okay. A, I'm gonna use a pine cone. I think that's called a pear shader, but you can get creative with it and use it however you want. Okay. Time to do this! Yeah! Ooh. Do not do that. If you just did that and put it on your hand, it really hurts. My bones are so good. It did not hurt as much. all the way to the look at that uh, went into the leather <laughs> into the leather it still kind of hurts <laughs> <sighs> um i think we should keep doing this i think i'll fast forward on this one can see there is one right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. Now I'm going to do some of my leaves. Time for leaves. On the flowers. So I think I'll do one leaf right here. I think I'll like, where's my little pointer thing? I have, I had a little pointy thing. I, have I don't know. There's a lot more tools than that. Ooh. Do you want all the tools? No. I don't want to use all the tools. Ah, I could use this as a pointy thing. Yeah. It's not about the tools you have. It's about how you use the ones that you got. Yep. I'm just going to do little dots. And then we'll put them together. There's my little stem. Are you looking for the swivel knife? No. Oh, okay. I was looking for a pointy thing that's... It was this. Oh, there. Does this 
look at, like a good stem, you guys? Yeah, that worked. Okay, so time for us to do the leaves. It's the right time, it's the right time. I haven't heard that song, I just made it up. <laughs> it's the right time, it's the right time. I don't think I can use this. It's too bendy. This one, oh, I guess this one can be growing. Yeah, this one, that one's growing. This one is not. It's grown up. Time to hammer! <laughs> yeah! Okay, don't be silly while you're hammering. I was just trying to do it before I hammer. Ooh, that's a good leaf! Right there. I would like to say, um, I hope you had fun, because that's what this whole thing was about fun yeah fun <laughs> and following and laughing along with me and laughing with my jokes can kids do leather work of course they can and follow me whenever you want yeah and so how old does a kid have to be to be able to do leather work maybe to like um how old I am, like six, five, four, or seven, because I'm seven, or like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13. I think you started when you were three. Oh, yeah, I started when I was three. Yeah, we taught you, we used leather work to teach you your alphabet. Yep. Goodbye! And what's your I name? Hope... I don't think you ever said your name. Oh, I haven't. And I hope you follow us on this and... My name is Kara, and I'm in first grade, and I have been doing this since...